joining us here, the Nikki Clark Show, live at Woodbine Mall, 500 Rexdale Boulevard in Toronto. And uh, sitting beside me is the uh, author and entrepreneur. Uh, he is the author of Fighting Fear and Doing Discipline, Achieve Success by Conquering Fear and Mastering Self-Discipline. Keith Hill Jr., welcome him to the show. How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm excellent. excellent. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. It's, it's a great... Uh, it's a great time, great place. And it's a great atmosphere. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what, it's, it's amazing how we were connected because uh, you came to support someone else a few weeks back. Exactly. They were on the show as guests and you came to just make sure that they were supported. Exactly. And then an opportunity came for you to come and show your talent. Exactly. And then you dropped some knowledge on us. You did some, <laughs> uh, you did spoken word and everyone was just you know, their jaws dropped at uh, just what you can do. Uh, it's amazing. And now, full circle, you're here on the show to talk about your, book. your and, book. And that experience was in part to support my editor, who was actually the person that you were interviewing. Mm -hmm. And secondly, with regards to me doing the performance, it was to exemplify what it is that I write about in the book. Okay. Which is just having the courage to do things that you know... Um, I don't know how to put it necessarily as far as what those things may be, but when you have that jittery kind of feeling and you want to do something, how to overcome that. Okay. How to overcome that fear. So, you know, once you can jump over fear, then there's freedom. Absolutely. But people get stuck at fear. Absolutely. So how do you jump over that? How do you get through it? Well, there's, there's many ways. It depends on what degree of fear you have. It depends on what the fear is pertaining to. But it's, as they say, if you conquer anything in your mind, then you could conquer anything in real life. So ultimately, whatever it is that you do to conquer it, because there's many different facets, it's, it's all internally as far as through your mind. So, I mean, there's, there's several ways, like, like one, of the, one of my favorite ways is to face the fear, feel the fear and do it anyways. Mm -hmm. So that's simply, uh, as a perfect example, when I was at your, at your show and I wanted to do the performance, but I was feeling the jitters. Were you holding back? I was holding back. I was holding back. That's why I commend all the people who went out and did their karaoke. Yeah, because we commend them. Yeah. It takes absolutely. courage. It yeah. takes courage. But I mean, you have to have that level of confidence and you have to be able to say, what's the worst case scenario? And even see yourself through it and see yourself past it. So to feel the fear and do it anyways is one of the ways in which you could overcome it. Okay. Now, where does the discipline come in? Well, oftentimes you could have uh, courageousness, you could feel like you're, you're confident and capable of doing something, but if you don't have the discipline to make sure you do it correctly or to just see your way all the way through, then it's almost like you fall short. So you could just say, you could be courageous enough to, to drive a car, but if you don't have the discipline to learn how to drive it correctly, then you're only halfway there. So it's like the courage is just to start you off, but the discipline is to actually get you across the finish line. Awesome, I like that. Yeah. Now, you, you make it very clear that you are a man of God. Um, describe what that is and, and what those qualities are for you. Well, first and foremost, being a man of God is what led me to actually write this. Because as a man of God, we're called to be the better version of ourselves, which is just ultimately not to, 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 to seek out to be perfect, but to seek to grow. So it was my attempt to grow that led me to do the research, and I found that being courageous and, and, and disciplined are areas in which, as a man of God, you're called to be, but it also it applies to other areas in life. So it was like a universal truth that if you want to achieve success in your, your walk with God, then these are two areas that you should focus on, but as a universal truth, it also applies to other areas of life, whether it be relationship, entrepreneurship, school, or anything in between. They're all interconnected. They're all interconnected. Okay. Now, how have you been transformed by writing this book? By being able to be here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that ultimately, it's, it's transformed in, 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 in opportunities such as this because at the end of the day, having the, the courage to sit in front of a crowd, having the courage to speak or present, as you said, my spoken word piece, in front of a crowd, it just opens doors. And those doors of opportunity, those doors of growth is the ways in which it has benefited me. 
But again, when it comes to just opening the doors, that's one thing. But when you have the discipline, you are able to capitalize what it is that you find once you cross through and enter through those doors. Absolutely. So, you know, sorry, go ahead. That makes uh, perfect sense. And I, I'd like you to um, do something for us. Could you just quickly freestyle for us? <laughs> Like you did. Like I, like I could say no after all that courage talk. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. You're put to the test. So just right here, right now? Right here, right now. Well, it's In front long. of all these nice people. It's long, so I'll just do a, a, a portion of it. Sure. Um, it goes, hypocrisy and religiosity is what they thought was taught to me. But hip-hop was to me what God was supposed to be. Now that's true irony. You see, I used to love her, hip-hop, with all my heart. Matter of fact, I still hurt, but pain after separation is common. So I stay calm and I remain strong and I focus on my true love, who is more than what I dreamed of. That's just a little piece right there. All right. <laughs> I like that. Thank you so much. Um, someone came with you today. Is she a love? Is she in love? Is she a love? Um... Yeah, I would yeah. say so. Yeah? Yeah. And that's my mom right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm sure that's who you were referring to. <laughs> um, okay, we won't, we won't <laughs> go any further. It's great to have you here. Thank you. So tell us about the book. It, it's a great success on Amazon, right? It, what, yeah. what number is it? It hit, well, right now, you know, we're, I don't even know where we are now. I, follow, I stopped following it, but we did hit the number one spot, which was a huge accomplishment. And um, uh, you could clap for that. You know? <laughs> I said number one. Don't hold one. back. I said number one. That's a big accomplishment. That's big. <laughs> and, um, you know, ultimately, and that was in the first week, and I, you know, I, I, I did my best to just reach out to people ultimately, such as yourself and other people in my, my, my circumference, and just ultimately explain what it is that I have and, and people gravitated towards it. So that's why I was able to do that. And now I'm just trying to find ways to just speak to youth in particular and entrepreneurs secondly. And I know that may not sound like they mix, but the reason why I focus on those two groups is because what, what I found is that as young people, they're, they're constantly looking to see what's next. They're just trying to find themselves, find opportunity, find their way through school. They're constantly trying to find what's next. And the same thing with an entrepreneur. He's constantly or she's constantly trying to find right. what's next. So the book refers that kind of thinking in terms of what's next and how you could accomplish what's next and how you could go through barriers and overcome whether the barrier is a self-inflicted barrier because oftentimes the things that hold us back are within ourselves, right. not externally. Yeah, we can sabotage our own success. Exactly, yeah. self-sabotaging. So I've, I'm focusing on those two groups and trying to reach out to areas in which I could speak to those two demographics. Fantastic, all right. And where can people find you? Real simply, KeithHillJr.com. That's KeithHillJr.com. And on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything is there. Okay. Keith Hill Jr., everybody, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for freestyling for us. We'll be back.